Our second option for finding the GCF, the greatest common factor, or HCF, the highest common factor, is using t-charts. So we need two separate t-charts, one for the factors of 18 and one for the factors of 36. So remember we said we use this to help us count systematically. So 1 times what number is 18? 1 times 18. Does 2 go into the 18? Yes, it's even. 2 times 9. Does 3 go into 18? 1 plus 8 is 9, so 3 goes into that number. 3 times 6. Does 4 go into that number? It does not. Does 5 go into that number? It does not. Does 6 go into that number? It does, but we already have it written on this other side. So we know that this is all of the factors that exist for 18. Then we do the same thing for 36. 1 will go into it 36 times. 2 goes into it because it's even, 2 times 18, 3 plus 6 is 9, 3 goes into 9, so 3 goes into this number, 3 times 12, does 4 go into this number, it does, 4 times 9, does 5 go into this number, no, does 6 go into this number, 6 times 6, and then you see we have a, we have a repeat number, so we know we have all of them, if we started counting up again, 7 doesn't, 8 doesn't, 9 does, but we have it written here already, so we know that we've gotten all of our factors of 36 as well. So now we look to see the greatest, the highest number, the biggest number that's in both lists is 18, the biggest one in both t-charts. So for um, 18 and 36, the greatest common factor or the highest common factor is 18.